Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Perspective. My name is Rohit Watts and in this episode of The Perspective, I will show you evidence of how Pakistan's Chinese-made HQ-9BE surface-to-air missile system failed spectacularly to save Pakistan Air Forces Noor Khan Air Base from Indian missile attack. On 22nd April 2025, Pakistan-backed Muslim terrorists massacred 26 Hindu tourists in Pahalgam, Kashmir. In retaliation to this heinous act, India launched Operation Sindhur, starting from intervening night of May 6 and 7 until early morning of May 10. The Indian Air Force struck terrorist infrastructure and Pakistan Air Force assets across the length and breadth of Pakistan. As part of Operation Sindhur, the Indian Air Force targeted the key Pakistan Air Force base at Chaklala, also known as Pakistan Air Force Base Noor Khan. Pakistan Air Force Base Noor Khan is home to the 35th Air Mobility Wing of the Pakistan Air Force. This wing has transport, aerial tanker and VIP squadrons under its command. The base is located in proximity to the Pakistan Army Headquarter or GHQ and as per open source intelligence, IAF destroyed some critical ground-based command and control infrastructure at the base. In subsequent part of this analysis, I will show you that Pakistan Air Force Base Noor Khan had the much-wanted HQ-9BE surface-to-air missile system and yet it failed spectacularly to intercept Indian air launch missiles from hitting the base. But before we proceed further, first, Let's have a look as to what is a HQ-9 surface-to-air missile system and what are its key components. The Chinese HQ-9 SAM system is derived from the Russian S-300 family of missile systems, but it has been modified to include more advanced features. In 1993, the Chinese imported S-300 PMU-1, followed by another order in 2003 for the improved S-300 PMU-2 system. The former led to the development of HQ-9 SAM, while the technologies from the latter were used to develop the HQ-9A missile system. The HQ-9 family of missiles has evolved from HQ-9 to HQ-9A, HQ-9B and the latest HQ-9C. HQ-9B is the most proliferate version of the HQ-9 series with widespread deployment across the Chinese armed forces. The HQ-9B family has one more version known as the HQ-9BE. As I will explain later, HQ-9BE differs from a standard HQ-9B in terms of its surveillance and fire control radars. In addition to the HQ-9B, the Chinese also have certain export versions of HQ-9 family, one of which is FD-2000 with a range of 125 km. Now, let's take a look at the components of a HQ-9B battery. First, you have the tractor erector launcher vehicles which carry and fire the missiles. These are also known as TELs in short. Each HQ-9 battery can have 4 to 8 such TELs. Each TEL carries 4 ready-to-fire missiles, giving each battery the capability of 16 to 32 ready-to-fire missiles. Next is the surveillance radar. These radars are used to scan the airspace over long distance for aerial threats like fighter aircrafts, cruise missiles, or even ballistic missiles. A key element of any SAM battery is the fire control radar or the FCR. The role of a FCR is to acquire and lock onto enemy aerial threats and guide surface to air missiles towards these threats. No surface-to-air missile can work without a fire control radar. Finally, we have the command post vehicle, which integrates the functions of all the elements of the battery and manages their operations. What you see in front of you is one of the Chinese configuration of a HQ-9B battery. As I will show later, the Pakistani configuration is a bit different from this format. In this picture, you can see the HT233 fire control radar, Type 780 surveillance radar, and four TELs, each with four ready-to-fire missiles. Uh, the command post vehicle is not visible in this picture. 
The HQ-9 family of missiles are mounted on a tractor erector launcher based on the Chinese Taiyan TAS-5380 8x8 truck chassis. This TEL in turn has been derived from the Russian Mars 543 series of trucks. As you can see, each TEL can carry four ready-to-fire missiles. While it is not shown here, there are slight differences in the TELs of HQ-9A, HQ-9B and HQ-9BE. At the heart of the HQ-9 battery is its fire control radar. The standard fire control radar of a HQ-9B battery is the HT-233 radar. Like the missile itself, the HT-233 radar has also evolved in capabilities over the years. The standard HQ-9B radar can acquire targets at a range of 260 km. It can track 100 targets while simultaneously engaging 8 targets. It can simultaneously guide 16 missiles at these 8 targets at the rate of 2 missiles per target. Here you can see the HT-233 vehicle from a side angle. The radar has been folded onto its platform and secured for the movement of the vehicle. Do note the layout of the vehicle. The radar platform sits in the middle while the radar cabin is towards the rear. The Chinese employ a variety of active and passive surveillance radars with their HQ-9B batteries. This includes the Type 305A and Type 305B radars. Both are three-dimensional long-range surveillance radars with surveillance range in excess of 350 km. However, the latest long-range surveillance as well as target designation radar being employed by the Chinese in their HQ-9B batteries is a Type 780 radar. Not much is known about the performance and parameters of this radar, but it is supposed to provide surveillance and target designation against ballistic missiles as well. The TWS-312 command post vehicle is the nerve center of a HQ-9B battery. It prioritizes the threats and decides on the course of engagement. Again, coming back to the image of a HQ-9B battery that we saw earlier, here you can see all the components which we have just described. We now come to the million dollar question, which type of HQ-9 missile capability does the Pakistan have? Interestingly, Pakistan employs two types of HQ-9 missile systems. First is the HQ-9P system operated by the Pakistan Army. HQ-9P is broadly similar to the FT-2000 export version of the HQ-9 system. This missile has a range of 125 km. Compared to this, the Pakistan Air Force operates a more advanced and long-range HQ-9BE missile system. This missile has a range of 260 km and is based on the HQ-9B version of the missile. And as I shall subsequently show, the Pakistani HQ-9BE missile system utilizes a different radar package than the standard HQ-9BE configuration. Now let us look at the performance numbers of HQ-9BE and HQ-9P series of missiles. As you can see, range against fighter size target for HQ-9BE is 260 km, while that of HQ-9P is 125 km. Similarly, HQ-9BE missile has better performance numbers against other kind of aerial threats like air-to-ground ammunition, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles compared to HQ-9P. As I have mentioned earlier, there is a difference in the Pakistan Air Force's HQ-9BE missile system and the Chinese HQ-9B. This difference is in terms of the surveillance and fire control radar package opted for by the Pakistan Air Force. Pakistan Air Force was looking at capability against tactical ballistic missiles and cruise missiles and also for HQ-9BE to act as a command post to integrate all other surface-to-air missile systems into one common grid. While the Chinese HQ-9B now has the Type 780 surveillance and designation radars, the Pakistan Air Force HQ-9BE comes with a different surveillance radar known as JPG-600. 
This radar provides surveillance capability against both traditional aerial threats as well as tactical ballistic missiles. It has a range of 500 km against aerodynamic threats and 300 km range against tactical ballistic missiles. It can simultaneously track 256 aerodynamic threats or 12 ballistic missiles. Here you can see both the surveillance radars together for comparison. There is difference also in terms of the critical fire control radar. As we have seen, the PLA uses the HT233 with their HQ9B system, while the Pakistan Air Force uses LD2JSG400 fire control radar. Again, this radar was chosen because of its ability to handle wide variety of threats from theater ballistic missiles to cruise missiles, stealth and VLU aircraft and air launch weapons apart from fighters and bombers. Before we proceed further, let us look at the physical difference between the HT233 and JSG400 fire control radars. This difference is important to understand because later I will demonstrate using satellite images that JSG400 radar was present at Noor Khan Air Base when it came under attack. Confirmation of the presence of JSG-400 at Noor Khan Air Base shows that in spite of the presence of the capability, the Pakistan could not save this strategic air base. The first difference between these two vehicles is that in case of JSG-400, the radar cabin is situated behind the driver's cabin, while in case of HT-233 radar, the radar cabin is situated towards the rear. Second is the radar uh, platform. In case of HT233, the radar platform is in the middle, while in case of the JSG400, the radar platform is towards the rear and it is a rotating platform. Finally, uh, while JSG400 is uh, mounted on an 8x8 vehicle, the HT233 uh, of HQ9B is mounted on a 10 by 10 vehicle. All the focus so far has been on what was struck at the Noor Khan Air Base by the Indian Air Force. What has so far not been explored and commented enough is the presence of HQ9BE battery at the Noor Khan Air Base and how it failed to prevent the Indian Air Force launched supersonic missiles from hitting targets at the base especially when Pakistan had sought capability to safeguard against exactly such attacks when it brought the HQ-9BE missile system. The satellite image here is from mid-December 2024. We now know that a key command and control node was hit at the airbase. However, this satellite image also shows the presence of HQ-9BE battery components at the airbase along with an actively deployed JSG-400 fire control radar. In addition to that, there is a high possibility of a 3D RAC radar also being active at the airbase at the time. Let's zoom further and see the HQ-9BE missile battery components. We first have the LD-2 JSG-400 fire control radar, which is in a deployed and active condition. Then you have the TEL truck with missiles, a TWS-312 command post vehicle, another TEL or possibly a missile loader vehicle and a missile resupply vehicle. Pakistan Air Force has been using the hardened aircraft shelters at the Noor Khan Air Force Base for safeguarding its HQ-9BE battery components. Just to ensure that there are no doubts about the presence of HQ-9BE missile battery at the Noon Khar Air Base, let us establish the identity of JSG-400 fire control radar. As I had mentioned and shown earlier, the layout of JSG-400 FCR is different from the standard HT-233 FCR used by the Chinese with their HQ-9B batteries and which even the Pakistan Army uses with their HQ-9P missile regiment. 
the first identity marker of a JSG 400 FCR is that the rotating radar base is located towards the rear of the vehicle unlike HT 233 where it is located in the middle of the vehicle. The second uh, marker is that the radar cabin is located in the middle. This is, this is opposite of the HT 233 radar where the radar cabin is located towards the rear of the vehicle. This snapshot of various types of surface to air missile systems married to a central command and control system is from a Pakistan Air Force presentation. As you can see, HQ-9BE has a very important place in this integrated air defense network. It provides the largest and the highest air defense bubble, while other SAM systems like HQ-9P, uh, shown here as FD-2000, and HQ-16FE provide SAM cover at lower levels and ranges. It would not be wrong to say that HQ-9BE is to Pakistan Air Defense what S-400 is to the Indian Air Defense Network. This image shows the surveillance radius of JPG-600 radar and the range of HQ-9BE missile and its fire control radar. This missile battery has been placed at the Noor Khan Air Force Base. As you can see, a single HQ-9BE battery based at Noor Khan Air Force Base had the capability to provide air defense cover over critical areas of Pakistan Punjab, including the strategic cities of Rawalpindi and Islamabad. It can also provide long-range air defense cover to key Pakistan Air Force bases in hinterland like Murid, Miawali and even Sargoda. This snapshot is from a video on the capabilities of the HQ-9 BE missile system. It has been made by the second academy of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, which makes the HQ-9 family of missiles. What you see in this snapshot is as follows. Theater ballistic missile fired by blue land or enemy forces at the red forces or the friendly forces. The long range JPG-600 surveillance radar picks up these incoming ballistic missiles from a distance of almost 700 to 800 kilometers. The JSG-400 fire control radar guides the missiles towards the incoming ballistic missiles. And finally, you have interception of the incoming ballistic missile. This is what the HQ-9BE was supposed to do on the intervening night of 9th and 10th May when Pakistan Air Force Base Noor Khan was attacked by the IAF using supersonic standoff land attack missiles and which, as we know, it failed to do spectacularly. In the end, the supersonic BrahMos missiles launched by the Sukhoi-30 MKIs of the Indian Air Force proved too much for the Chinese-made HQ-9BE missile systems of the Pakistan Air Force. Leading to visuals like this of destroyed vital assets on the ground. If you like the content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.